Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be coming at you guys with another card hunting vlog here with Target, Rite Aid, Dollar Tree, Big Lots, Five Below, and more. Hope you guys have been enjoying these vlogs and be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and let's get into the vlog. So first up here is Rite Aid. Haven't had great luck at Rite Aid recently, so um, you see some mystery boxes, some Pokemon, but all they really had for sports cards was some of those teeny mates and the jumbo boxes of baseball. That was it. Next stop went to Dollar Tree. And didn't have high hopes that I'd find any cards. And all I did see there by the register was some of these Fortnite stickers, which is kind of funny. You guys will see it later in the video why I think it's funny. Next stop is Target. Um, again, haven't had, I, I really haven't found anything Target in a while, but um, they limit it to two items per guest at this Target, and they still were completely wiped out, as you can see there. Went up by guest services because I've seen people get cards. And they had two Yu-Gi-Oh! Blasters. That was it. I was really getting my hopes up. But ended up picking up nothing at the Target, which was unfortunate. They did not hit the restock. This was actually on a Friday morning, unfortunately. They did not hit the restock. Next stop, went to a Rite Aid right next to the Target. That's kind of crazy. Just inserted that clip. So let's see if I could have any luck at Rite Aid. But nope, nothing there except for some Pokemon. Haven't had great luck at Rite Aid recently. All the bottom row is absolutely cleaned out. So I went to Michael's. I was really close to the uh, to the Rite Aid, and they did not have anything. I saw Pokemon cards there before. I've seen um, people get baseball cards there too, but they did not have anything. Went to Barnes & Noble, saw people get Topps Chrome there before, but they did not carry cards, the lady said there. Um, also went to Dollar Tree, and... This is where what I said was funny because Fortnite stickers, um, you saw earlier, there's three tubs of them at one Dollar Tree and now <laughs> all of them are cleared out. So I thought that was pretty funny, in my opinion. I don't know why, but um, people buy those Fortnite stickers. Next stop, went to Big Lots and called them the day before and they said they all they had was Yu-Gi-Oh! repacks and he was correct, the guy. Um, went to Five and Blow too and... Um, Scored here, finally. Um, we got some Jets team sets, but that's not what I wanted. I called them the day before, and they said they had this repack of CNI collectibles, football, 20 football rookie cards. I actually ripped that open on my channel a while back. But uh, here's the next stop, Rite Aid. Um, nothing really much there except for some Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon mystery boxes, a uh, couple of some more Pokemon uh, repacks, and a mystery box, Minecraft. That was pretty much it. Um, and you see the empty, the bottom row empty, which is where cards would be. Next stop, went to Walgreens, and they had absolutely nothing. So, appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the recap, and thank you there guys. There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that card hunting vlog. Wasn't too successful, but still ended up picking up this CNI Collectibles repack, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I've been looking for these actually on eBay and trying to find one of these to add to my repack stash, and finally found one. And I am super excited about that. I will definitely take that because I do collect those uh, repacks. And I know I ripped one of those three years ago on my channel, which I actually may insert into this uh, clip, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I was super excited to found, find that. But overall, not a great um, card hunting vlog. You saw in the first clip, I went to Rite Aid and all they had was jumbo boxes. So passed on those. Also went to a Dollar Tree. They All they had was Fortnite stickers, like three gravity feed um boxes with stickers which is kind of funny because later on in the vlog you guys saw um there was a completely empty fortnite stickers which i i don't know what's i don't think there's anything good if i saw three gravity feed boxes of fortnite stickers and then at one of the dollar trees that they're all bought out which i thought was pretty funny um later on in the vlog but uh also went to the target they limited it to two people um two two items per person for sports collectibles which is kind of crazy and I still could not find anything. Bare shelves. And that was actually Friday morning. The other clips were the day before. But uh, that was kind of unfortunate. And I uh, didn't find anything at Target, unfortunately. And um, I actually went up to the register and asked if they had any um, sports trading cards. Because I know sometimes they may hold them. I've seen people get them up at the guest services. And unfortunately, all they had was Yu-Gi-Oh! Blasters. I, I was getting really happy. I was like... Oh man, maybe I'll score something. And even if it was like a terrible blaster of sports, I probably would have took it. But unfortunately, there was nothing there um, up at guest services. But uh, it is what it is. And 
Also, after that, went to the Rite Aid, which was right next door, but they had nothing. Um, unfortunately, not. They just had like a couple Pokemon thing, things, uh, nothing big to buy. No sports cards, really. And also went to Michael's, struck out there. There was nothing. I, I didn't have too high hopes at Michael's. I know some people have said they found sports cards. I've seen sports cards on their site, but Michael's did not have anything. I went to Michael's before. They had Pokemon, but that's pretty much it. I'm not really looking for Pokemon um, too much. Also went to a, after that, went to the, uh, Barnes and Nobles. They didn't care. They said they didn't carry any Pokemon or sports cards. So fortunately they didn't have anything. I've seen people find Topps Chrome there, which is kind of, I, I think that's pretty crazy that people found stuff there. Then went to that Dollar Tree that had that, uh, empty gravity feed or whatever sticker gravity feed box or whatever of, uh, Fortnite cards, which was kind of funny, or Fortnite stickers, whatever you want to call it. Um, then went to Big Lots. I actually called them the day before, and they said they had all they had was Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and uh, he was right on the guy um, that I called the day before. Unfortunately, they didn't have anything, but also then went over to the uh, the Five Below, which is actually really close by and right next door, pretty much in the shopping center, and was super excited to find the CNI collectibles repack. There's also some Jets team sets there, but decided to pass on those. This is kind of crazy. I found this in 2021 because this this rang up as 2016. So this is like five years old now. Maybe maybe uh, four to five years ago they made those. So that was really awesome. And I yeah, I believe I found one of those in like 2017. So or 2016 or I think it was 2017 or 2018. So that was kind of crazy. That I still found one in. 2021 so found some cards found a nice repack there i was pretty excited about that overall still not a great experience also went to a ride aid um before got back um that was and the ride aid had nothing there pretty much um same thing same all the fridays and also went to a uh, i believe it was yeah walgreens and they had absolutely nothing except for like one Yu Gi Oh hanger box so let me know you guys thought. I'm super excited, and I may insert a clip of the opening a while ago, probably just with no audio. I might do a voiceover on it, but if you guys want to see that, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I might just throw it in for a nice little throwback there. But I'm not going to open this. I'm just going to keep it sealed. I'm just, I'm pretty happy. These are only $5, but I pulled like a solid rookie out of it. I believe like a Julio Jones, so it, it's kind of cool um, because these are not like the most... Um, they're not so easy to come by now, but yeah, I thought it was cool picking this up. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, again, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And you may see the opening of one of these, um, or I may just end the uh, video but or the vlog. I appreciate you guys watching. And let me know what you guys thought. If there's anything I could do better on these vlogs, let me know. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and stay tuned for some more card hunting vlogs to come. And see you guys later. Peace out, and have a great Here's day. the repack opening, as I promised, guys. And there you see, to start it off, there was a Julio Jones rookie, um, a couple other rookies, a work done rookie, which wasn't too bad. So ripped this open like three years ago. Dennis Johnson uh, figured why not insert this in. I th figured you guys might want to see it. Uh, there's also Adrian Claiborne, Mike Davis, um, Luke Stocker. So, I mean, some some a mix of good rookies. Obviously, the Julio Jones was the best rookie from this repack, which is probably like a $2 card or um, maybe $3, but I still have it to this day, which is kind of crazy because this was a old opening three years ago. I may actually have all these cards. I'm not sure. I think some of them may be in a binder. Uh, no Sean Moreno is not a bad one to have. Chris Smith. Uh, Mike Williams, because I know, I know Sean Moreno was pretty good for the Broncos in the Super Bowl. A couple of cool cards here, though. 20 cards, nothing crazy big, but I thought it was cool. I'm glad I found one of these again because I ripped one of these three years ago. Just brings back some uh, nostalgia, I guess you could say that. Or I just wanted to have one to keep sealed, um, which is cool. So, yeah, no, no, nothing big, though. Nothing huge. I get it. Uh, there nothing, nothing was crazy out of there. Not, not a crazy pull, but... Cool Julio Jones rookie there. Let me know what you guys thought. I appreciate you guys watching the card hunting vlogs. And, yeah, I thought that was pretty fun. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out. Hope you guys enjoyed the card There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that card hunting vlog. Again, going to do this nice Joe Burrow giveaway for the Super Bowl, guys. To anyone that comments, 
All you guys got to do is comment Joe Burrow and how many TDs he had before he got um, injured. You could Google that. I don't really care. But I just want to um, enter a lot of people. And then I'm going to be doing an awesome break for the Super Bowl. I'm trying to fill it before the Super Bowl, the day before the Super Bowl. And there's going to be some giveaways in it um, if I can fill it, which I'll show you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned for that video. It's going to be $12 a spot with a ton of wax here, some packs. I'll go um, down it tomorrow. Um, so $12 plus shipping, a random team, and hot rookie. So I have a couple of teams uh, or random um, spots claimed so far. So I appreciate you guys watching again. Uh, if you guys want to win the Joe Burrow Prestige Rookie, again, just use, that, uh, the, use those simple steps. Just comment Joe Burrow and how many TDs he had um, he had in uh, 2020 season uh, before he got injured. So that's a cool giveaway there. And stay tuned for some more stuff to come tomorrow. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And stay tuned for the break to come. Really hyped up about it. I um, haven't done a break in about probably like a year. I did a Super Bowl mixer last year, so I figured we're back at it again. And you guys see a 2017 hobby pack. That is going to be in the break. And it's, again, $12 a spot. This has one hit in it. You're, we're going to get eight hits in this break, which is awesome, man. So, again, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Enter in the Joe Burrow giveaway. I'm going to give that away before I do my break or on Super Bowl Sunday, depending on how the break fills. But it should fill. We already have five spots taken. I haven't even announced it. So I appreciate you guys watching and watching the card hunting vlogs. And stay tuned for this break. If you guys want a spot, too, you can comment down below. It's $12 a spot. Uh, and you see the wax here, so I'm gonna announce it tomorrow though um, Either way if you guys want me to put you down for a spot I can and see you guys later. Peace out Appreciate you guys watching the card hunting vlog. appreciate you guys watching till the end